Right, you guys, stop doing this to Windows. That's what we're going to be talking about today. Increase FPS, boost gaming performance, and reduce latency, and stop stuttering, and all this sort of stuff I see on the internet everywhere I go. It's in Discord servers, it's in the comments, it's on literally everywhere you go on the internet. It's an age-old debate that people will argue until the cows come home about how you can get more performance out of your PC by optimizing. Look at this one here, optimize your PC for gaming. Home provides you the tools to achieve ultimate gameplay, boost FPS by rescuing your PC from bloated software. And you can download it and install it on your system, trusted by 500,000 gamers. That's their claim. I'm not claiming that at all. That's what's on their website. And of course, this is all high sales pitch, you know what I mean, to try and get you to download and install it and use it on your PC to get the best out of your PC and give you that FPS boost and give you the ultimate optimized Windows operating system that you've always dreamed of. So let's go ahead and run this on the system. But before you do that, before you make any tweaks, it's always advisable to turn on uh, system restore and create a system restore point on your PC because if you've made changes and you're removing components on making changes to the Windows registry, you might not be able to revert these because once they pull these out, it can damage uh, that part of Windows and you might need to do a fresh install of Windows. This way you can always roll back and try to go back to a time when your PC was working properly. Now, so many people believe this boost in FPS and, you know, lower latency and all this sort of stuff by tweaking the uh, network adapter settings and registry and all this sort of stuff. And they just have no clue what they're doing and they end up breaking their system and they don't want to put it back. But unfortunately, sometimes the only way to put it back is to a fresh install. So be very careful what you get into. So let's take a look here. We're going to accept their terms. You do have to be at least 18 years old. Click next. And this is the bit where it says, we value your privacy, homemade display, and in-app ad to help provide you with the free high-quality app in order to deliver ads that are relevant for you. Hone and 901 trusted ad vendors store uh, and or access your information on your computer and process personal data such as your IP address and cookies and stuff like that. So it basically tells you what they're going to be doing here. That's quite a lot of ad vendors. So they're going to be pumping ads in their application in a way to make money. And you can see here, you can go into the manage part here. And this is what these uh, programs are about. It's to generate money. And uh, really what you want to be doing here is reject all purposes here uh, down the bottom left. And that will obviously reject all of what they're saying here and fully block the data sharing with these companies and there's a lot of them so remember they're going to be harvesting your information if you don't do this but just to show you uh, this is the sort of company that you're dealing with when they're working with loads of different companies like these and they're sharing all this information with all of these companies so reject all purposes and continue and there we go we are welcome to the home uh, optimizer and uh, basically what you need to do here is authenticate who you are in your browser it'll open up your browser and you'll go ahead and you can sign up with google or your discord it's going to want to know your email address and stuff like that it will harvest that information as it says right here the sort of information they harvest we cannot guarantee or i think it's quantitative value of fps and if any performance benefit if you apply our optimizations, each system and configuration is different. So what they're basically saying is there's no guarantee that this is going to work for you. And then you can go down and read some more information here that says by running this application, you agree that Aura side included is not responsible for any damages incurred if you're running their application, basically detaching themselves from any responsibility. So you're running this at your own risk and there's no guarantee that it's going to work. And now you can see under the optimizations tab here, if you click on here and there's some of these are not free, you have to pay. And these are the downside here, $2.49 a month, save 60%. So after that period, it will probably go up to the full price and you're paying it just to do a bunch of settings that you can probably do manually yourself so let's have a look at them and go through here on the left hand side you've got a couple of buttons down here that you can click on system backup if you want to do a system backup before you do any tweaks here's your game library here after that we have bios optimizations as well which is unavailable so let's go back to the home page here 
And let's take a look under the optimizations tab, general windows optimizations. Doesn't tell you in depth of what that is. It just gives you a little list there so you can toggle that on and it's going to do some general windows optimizations. There we go. So another one uh, looks a little bit like snake oil to me, but if you click on this, it will give you a bit more of a, a readout of what it actually does. So this is in beta, by the way. And again, optimize Windows Power Plan. I see so many people talking about Power Plan as if it's the holy grail to getting more FPS and God knows what on their system. But it is just really overdone a little bit on YouTube. But again, it's still being done today uh, as we speak. So optimize your Windows Power Plan. Uh, disable Windows Power Throttling right here as well. And then we've got other things like uh, optimize message signal interrupts. And again, this is to do with uh, the information they've got right there. And then you've got remove network bandwidth limits. These are the problems when you start going to into network settings and messing around with these. Some of these are old settings they found on the internet and it might work for one person and it might wreck someone else's system or setup. So be very careful because one size does not fit all. And you cannot be just putting these on hoping for the best because it can make your system a lot worse. As you can see here, we're talking about this one right here. And this is, again, uh, might not work well on modern day systems, might work better on older systems. You have to understand what you're doing before you start toggling these on. And of course, people don't and they start just toggling everything on. And when they run out of options, guess what's going to happen? It's going to bait you into paying for the pro version or the paid version. So let's go ahead and keep going. I think we get 10. We've activated five. We can have up to 10 on the free version, and then you would have to pay. So it's a bit of a, a carrot and a stick, really, to get you going, and then eventually you'll just want to pay for, for the pro version to get the extra tweaks. So now we've done the... Uh, Optimize Windows timer resolution, and you've got disable hibernation there, and you've got the game bar here, Windows game bar. Optimize mouse. I mean, so many different mice out there that you can purchase. How is the, one of them settings going to be good enough for all of those mice? I and mean, plus, most of them will come with their own software, and there's different uh, values and different settings. They're probably going with that old school mouse optimizations that you used to get many, many years ago. Uh, but optimize input output operations, gaming uh, optimizations here. As you well notice, there's a lot of optimizing, optimizing and FPS and boost and all this sort of stuff they use quite a lot. Uh, disable power saving features. Optimize uh, netish network uh, settings here. So again, be careful when you're toggling some of this stuff on. If you don't know what you're doing, I'm just going to be toggling this on because this is on a virtual machine, so it really don't matter. Now we've run out of our options, so we've used 10 of the free options. If you want to do more, then you're going to have to pay, and this is how they get you. So if they are asking for money to do any of this sort of stuff, then steer clear of it because you shouldn't be paying for this sort of stuff. We even had a guy on our Discord server asking for help uh, he paid someone to optimize his PC to make it super fast, loads of FPS, showed, showed him a load of photos and screenshots, and then basically charged him a load of money to optimize his PC. He remoted in, optimized his PC, and he ended up bricking his system. He had to come to us to help him get it sorted out. And I just told him that you're just wasting your money. Disable SMB V1 and disable SMB uh, version 2. How that is going to optimize you for gaming, I really don't know. You've got disable super fetch there, sysmain uh, service, and you've got optimized drives, and you've also got Windows, disable Windows services right here. So there is options available. You can do a bit more of a, a selective one. Disable my people, how that's going to help you in FPS and gaming, I really don't know. Lock the CPU at 100%. I'm not so sure you want to be doing that all the time. Uh, but again, some people want to, and uh, they will do. Disable Xbox, and that is it. Optimize JPEG wallpaper quality. Uh, that really is important in gaming, I suppose. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. Look at that. Disable Chrome telemetry, and, uh, you know, I've already exhausted my 10 options, and I'm not paying for this rubbish, but, hey, 
That's that's just the way it is. So disable Microsoft Office telemetry. Now I've made a batch file that does all of this and more. And uh, I need to, I was trying to make make it available to people, but then I just got roasted in the comments section, and uh, I just pulled it and I couldn't be bothered. Uh, but there was some genuine people that wanted it, and I was going to give it for free. Uh, but again, you do get your your trolls in there, and I just end up pulling it. Under the basic section here, there is some other options available here, like optimize browser backgrounds, and uh, you've also got uh, disable boot uh, effects. I mean, how is that going to help you in gaming? I mean, come on. What, just the once you boot it up, you boot it up? I mean, it's just ridiculous. Disable uh, browser updates, which is not advisable. How that's going to help you in gaming, I don't know. Disable live tiles. And uh, again, there's quite a few here. Disable OneDrive. Disable low, uh, notifications. A lot of this stuff can be all done uh, through tweaking and stuff if you want to do. You don't have to pay for this sort of nonsense. Disable storage sense. Again, uh, another thing that's optimized context menu. How that's going to help you in gaming, I really don't know. Uh, Windows Copilot, I do agree, turn that off. And uh, yeah, increasing your taskbar transparency. You're probably going to get an extra one FPS for that by doing that. And yeah, so you get the general idea. This is how this stuff is. And of course, people will believe that this is the holy grail to getting more FPS. Why they're so obsessed with FPS, I really don't know. The internet has gone mad for FPS. And yet, when you see them play a game, they can't even shoot. And they can't even uh, win a game because they're rubbish. And they spend more time tweaking their system instead of getting better at the game. It's crazy. But... And then you go into this section right here. Upgrade to the premium version to get junk cleaner and optimize defrag and and clear Discord cache and all this sort of rubbish. You don't need all this stuff. But this is what people want nowadays, and this is the new way of using Windows 10 and Windows 11. Let's go to the advanced settings here and take a quick look here. There's a big warning sign saying advanced settings, be careful. I'm pretty sure we're going to be all right. But again, disabling Bluetooth is an advanced uh, level, I suppose. Yeah. Disable Bluetooth. Again, it's, yeah, I'll just, I mean, look at this one here. Disable multiplane overlay MPO. Again, uh, you can see here, depending on your computer, MPO can either improve or worsen your performance. Right there, says in, in black and white, Toggling that on can either improve it or make it worse. So be careful what you're turning on and what you're doing with your system. I'm yet to see someone prove me wrong. I've offered people many times to come in and show me a clean system, an absolute clean system, Windows fresh install, do a benchmarks and do gaming tests and then do their tweaks that they need to do and show me the mass improvements that they get on their system and not one have come in and shown me they said they will do and show me screenshots but they never do because they know it doesn't work it's all a load of hogwash mate anyway with that said i mean that's going to be about it i think it's about time we drew a line under this sort of stuff stop using junk like this and get better at the game that's my personal opinion anyway with that said my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk catch you in the next one